I'm at the Do Something headquarters in New York City, and right now I'm with the CEO, Nancy Loveland, who's going to give me a tour of their space, and they're doing amazing stuff, so I'm really excited to be here. Nancy, thanks so much Hi. for having me. Sure. So, uh, this, is you, my bike. this is your bike. Tell people what Do Something is all about. Uh, do Something.org is all about leveraging communications technologies like phones and the internet and television and all kinds of things like that to get kids to do good stuff offline. I love it. And you've done, and this is just, uh, just a little stuff. snippet to show of what types press. of things they've done. There's our Teen Choice Award. We gave the first um, non-celebrity category ever on Teen Choice back in 08. Um, to, and we gave $100,000 to one kid who was this awesome anti-tobacco activist. Um, Scarlett Johansson actually handed it out. So that was pretty cool. So we've got our surfboard here. Wow. And um, let's see, here's the office. This is the area <laughs> we call the pit. There's like everybody is just smushed in here. There's Lauren. Hi. Hi. The pit in the summertime, it's two to a desk. It's like crazy packed with interns. Oh, we really? Love, we love interns. We pay our college interns. Wow. We don't think college students should be exploited. We pay them. That's a good thing. We exploit the high school kids. <laughs> very nice, very nice. There's our Webby. Yay. There's our Webby. It bounces. We like that. There you go. Whoa, it actually makes sounds. So how That's long weird. ago did you guys start? Um, we are, this is our sweet 16 year. We were actually started by Andrew Shu back when he was on Melrose Place, the first Melrose Place. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he probably could have started like a cologne line or a line of shoes, but instead he um, convinced Aaron Spelling to give him a minute of airtime to launch Do Something. And so they did. And back then, like, if you wanted to activate people, you had to have offices all over the country. When I got here in 2003, I was like, it's called the internet. It was the year after Friendster, the year before Facebook. Yeah. That was the do something year. And we, I was like, we're going to put everything online. And we shut down the local offices and moved everything online. And we became, come on, you can walk out, Amanda. Amanda's going home now. Bye, Amanda. Bye. Amanda gives out all our money, does all the grants and boot camps. Bye, Amanda. And we have a next boot camp November 7th in New York. Anyway, so we moved everything online. And now we're really more of a media company than we are like a Girl Scouts. Well, so you give, I mean, people can uh, apply to get grants for projects. We are the largest funder of kids without requiring an adult. We hold boot camps six times a year for kids who have their own projects and just need some help. Every month we do a different cause of the month, a campaign that you can join. We have all kinds of content that's fresh daily on the website for how you can take action on things. We have a sell campaign where if you text the words do something to 30644, you get a volunteer opportunity in your zip code twice a month. So you can forward it to friends. Mm -hmm. like so yeah, we're just doing a lot of stuff. You're doing so much stuff. A lot of stuff. That's Kevin. Changing hi. the world for the better. That's Kevin. Hey. That's Aria. That's our CMO. You want to come say hi? Hi. Say hi. Hello. Now you're going to be on a blog. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. CMO. What are you working on? What am I working on? I'm working on engaging um, ESPN and Major League Baseball so we can get uh, teen guys involved in taking action in their communities through sports. I love it. There you go. That's just That's a, cool. a little glimpse at some of the projects. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can we go to the grant room? Because this is oh, really... Oh, yeah, no, this is really I got fun. chills from this room. So this is Amanda's room. So here are just some of the kids who've done awesome stuff. Such incredible stuff. stuff. Like 17 years old. Yeah, but where are the Doritos? Here's Doritos bags. Oh, I got the Doritos bags. But there's some of them on the wall, like... So we're on half a billion Doritos bags right now, um, featuring like some of these awesome kids, like Marvelyn Brown, who's kind of the leading um, activist, AIDS activist. She's HIV positive, wow. African American, 24. She talks about how when she was younger, she had unprotected sex with this hot guy and was like flattered because she thought that meant that he wanted to be your baby daddy. And um, and she's just she's sort of changing culture and, and speaking out. Her family told her she should tell people she had cancer because that was better than AIDS. Mm -hmm. And so she talks about how it's not cool to have unprotected sex and it's okay to say your age. She, she's awesome. She's on a lot of Doritos bags. Or Maggie. Who, Maggie Doyne, yeah. Maggie Doyne, who you know, yeah, who's running an orphanage in Nepal. She's awesome. So kids like that. Why is something like uh, do something important? Why is an organization yeah. like this important? I mean, we think putting those kids out there is like... People should be writing college essays about them and yeah. should be idolizing them instead of like Paris Hilton, you know? So that these are like the presidents of their generation and we hold them out there because what we really want to do is get the vice presidents and the followers, which is the bulk of the generation, to do, do good stuff. And we don't think everybody should be opening an orphanage in Nepal, but we think everybody could like collect some canned food in November and help fill the food pantries. We think everybody could, you know, like 
be nicer to each other. I yeah. know that sounds corny, but it would make a difference. Or to take a shorter shower. Like, there's little things that everybody can do. So we really want to saturate the culture that way. 